Really? Is that normal? Does it taste good? It's like, uh, yeah, mom. Of course it tastes good. He has been licking my schoolwork for about five minutes. I caught him doing it earlier, and I'm like, cats eat paper. Yep, he loves it. Absolutely loves it. Seriously. Must eat paper. This is like a whole new level of my dog ate my homework because my cat is literally eating my homework. I am, oh my god, you can see my reflection. What's up? Um, I am so sick of this book, but I will finish it, hopefully today. Um, oh my god, I have been struggling through this whole series for, God, almost a year. I got it for my birthday last year. And I don't know if you could see, I always tag my pages, so I'm like halfway through right there. Um, so I'm hoping that I can finish this today or tomorrow, and I'm planning on doing a book review of this series, this whole series. Um, God, I'm so close, and <laughs> I can't wait. So, um, I'm sitting in my car at, um, like a diagnostic center or something like that. Um, basically, I was supposed to have a CAT scan today, um, or like a CT scan. That's CAT scan, right? I don't know. <laughs> um, for my sinuses, because I have major sinus problems, and like, my, um, I had to get I'm supposed to get allergy tested, but I can't get allergy tested to make sh to see exactly what I'm allergic to um, until I get a CT scan. And I just literally sat in that office for an hour and a half, and then they finally come up to me and they're like, "Yeah, so um, it's broken." <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I've never heard of a CT scan. Well, I mean, of course, this would only happen to me, but they were like, yeah, the CT scanner is broken and we're waiting for a technician to come out and, um, <laughs> there's still like two patients in front of you. And, uh, so do you want to wait? They said at least two hours. And I was like, so I've already been here an hour and a half and you expect me to wait another two hours just sitting here waiting to get a CT scan that'll little, literally take five minutes. And they're like, well, you can reschedule. Let's reschedule now. We're only open from X time to X time. And I was like, I work. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like kind of annoyed right now, but I think it's just funny that like this would only happen to me. Like, I, of course I would go to where the CT scan is broken and it would be the day that this, you know, day of my appointment the CT scan is broken so now I'm sitting in my car and it's a beautiful day outside and I think I'm going to go shopping my stepsister is getting married and her um, wedding shower is in two days and I need to go get her a gift so I think I'm gonna go shopping at Bed Bath & Beyond so maybe I'll take you with me so this so isn't good I just got to this Bed Bath & Beyond and right next door there's a Sally's this is a sign that I need to go in but not a sign that I need to shop because I do not need to shop there anymore. But I think it's a sign. Yeah. I've never been to this part of town. I mean, I've been to this part of town before, but I've never been to like these shops over here. Um, and so I'm like all like intrigued. Like this huge ass strip mall has like so many amazing things. I might have to stay here for a while and take you shopping with me. Is it just me or does anyone else get like massively confused when I'm bed bath and beyond and I can never make my bed to look as comfy as the display beds like it is freaking impossible like that bed looks ridiculously comfy and it's just plays a boy sitting on it but I really want to it like draws you in I know this story is not supposed to be like confusing but I don't know why I'm always confused at a bed bath and beyond like there's these huge aisles and there's so much stuff i have no idea where i'm going or what i'm doing and there are literally pillows up to the ceiling and down here and it makes well more pillows but for 50 dollars a pop i can't do it but i really like pillows this is seriously confusing i like i don't know where i'm going oh my god the crazy cat lady in me like secretly because i won't admit it to many people really really wants this because check this out i don't even know if the camera will show it no, hold up. Eh, eh. 
It's a toilet brush holder in the shape of a cat. How adorbs is that? I hate when I turn my camera on and that's when like everyone in the parking lot decides to get out of their car and look into their rear view mirror and then I feel, and this woman is literally right behind me like, I'm staring my rear view mirror at her right now. Like she just got out of her car and now she's just sitting there and she probably thinks I'm just as weird as her because I'm doing the exact same thing. Um, I just got out of Bed Bath & Beyond and Sally's and all of them and the Sally's that I, oops, sorry, I didn't even realize that I was tilting the camera up. The Sally's that I just went to, like they didn't have the one um, polish that I was looking for and then they also um, didn't have the hair product that I was looking for. My hair, I ran out of my like holy grail like curly hair product and this is what happens. Of course I run out of it when it finally gets hot here. It's like 70 degrees and that's hot for us. And so my hair is going huge, frizzy, and I lost all curl definition like the minute that my hair dried. Um, a little frustrating. And I, now I get to go home and film. So done with my errands. It's like 11.30. Oh, and I got my stepsister her wedding shower present. Look at that! They have like a gift wrapping station. I don't even have to buy my own wrapping paper. I love that. Anyways, so I am about to go home. I'm going to film some videos today and try to deal with this hair. And then I got addicted last night. Like, I don't even know what it was. I was on Netflix. I watched The Last House on the Left. I think that's what it's called. Something, something about a last house. The new one with Jennifer Lawrence that was on Netflix and I watched that and then all of a sudden it like popped up like, oh, watch the first season of Scandal. I watched the whole first season of Scandal last night with the, so I'm like one episode behind. Like I think I got to episode seven, which I think that's it. Like, so I didn't see last year's season finale and I'm addicted and I just wanted to watch Scandal all night last night and couldn't because Grey's season finale was on and the Scandal season finale of season two. So now I'm like, I have like 22 more episodes to go to catch up. So I was planning on doing that today and then I get a little bit obsessive sometimes, if you guys can't tell, um, by like how much nail polish I own. But I was planning on doing that today and then um, last night before I went to bed, I decided to start a new book and now I'm like 200 pages into it and it's only 11, I started reading it less than 12 hours ago. No, actually just about 12 hours ago, 12 hours ago and 40 minutes ago, pretty much give or take a minute or two um, and I'm like 200 pages in and I can't stop reading it and so look for that book review too because I am enthralled with it right now so I have to go home I have to film a couple videos because I haven't filmed in like two weeks and I'm gonna film my vlog intro um, and then hopefully edit together some of this footage it's not that interesting and then <laughs> well, I guess this might be the end of my very first vlog video. Okay. Thank you for watching. I don't know really what to say. This was my week. It was really boring. I read a lot. I watched a lot of TV. I painted my nails. And it was my first week off. I'm going to start probably vlogging again tomorrow. I'm cleaning my boat tomorrow. And then the day after that, I have my sister, my stepsister's bridal shower. And then the day after that, I start my summer job not excited I'm excited I really am excited I'm very excited but I'm not working I'm not looking forward to working 40 hours a week unpaid <laughs> making no money but yeah so yeah this is the end of my vlog and I'm gonna vlog again for next week and hopefully you guys like this that's pretty much it I don't know what else to say except I'm in the middle of a strip mall parking lot and there's so many people around and this is kind of awkward but it's nice and cool in my car so I guess I'm good. <laughs> so I told my boyfriend to pick out a polish for me to wear out of all of my new ones and he has come up with his own system for choosing. I don't really quite get it. The greens are in one corner and then the rest are just kind of out in the middle. And this is his process. <laughs>
Is the brown one throwing you off? It's cola. Yeah, that's the name of it. It's like, uh, that's not cola. That's not the color of cola? No. Are you mad that it's like not the color of cola? Like, that's throwing me off. Like, why would they call that cola? <laughs> really? Okay, maybe that's just me. Those look good together. Brown and gold? Alright, so we got one combo as a maybe. You gotta keep these separate. You can't try to mix those together with something. What? Keep what separate? Like you can't put this as your regular and then add like something like that to the next to it. Why not? Because then you have two different color sparklies. So you can't have two different color sparklies? No, you have to have more of a solid color with a sparkle. So she just has like a little sparkle. You can't really mix that with that. You can't? Why can't I mix that with something? So you can do this. It wouldn't look good with this one. It would have to be a different color sparkly one, but... This could work. These two can work. Oh, okay. Well, you're picking out combinations. Like, are there any that you would just want me to wear on their own? Well, I'm, I'm always like, I like this one and this one. But not together. Well, I mean, like, I used to buy it by itself. Well, it doesn't matter. So you like those two by itself? Break the yeah, uh, he's broken how many of my nail polishes? Like three. But literally broken three just by like playing with them. Not even like dropping them or anything. Like one time he was trying to get some excess polish off the side of the bottle that had like broken and chipping or something like that and cracked the bottle. Like I don't know how that happens. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little heavy handed. This video has been going on now for three and a half minutes. And he was in the process of picking out colors beforehand, too. So now you can understand what I go through. Those might work. Those, okay, so we have three different color combinations Wait. that might work, including two colors that could be worn on their own. So, so far we have five options. Maybe more. These two will work together. Those two, okay, so four combos. But watch, you pick out a color combination, it's like my most liked Instagram photo ever. Then these are just your oddballs. Oddballs? Well, you know, this one could kind of work with both. I think it works better with that one. So all three of them together? No, like that one. Not too much? Or like that. That's what I was wearing the other day. What? This and this? Yeah, and this How the one. How are you These are brand new. I know. Once you. Hey, don't mess up. I had that, that, and that one on the other day. No. I'm going to go with this one. Go with that one? All right.